Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of being a porn star. Because a lot of people think like, oh wow, that sounds like an amazing job, right? But there are some significant disadvantages. So I'm going to go through the great things and then I'm going to go over the not so great things. So first and foremost, uh, you do get to travel. Personally, I can't stand traveling. I hate it. It's like nails on a chalkboard. And fortunately, I'm now at a point where I make more off shooting my own content than any studio would ever pay, so I don't have to travel. But if you are someone who enjoys traveling, you will get to fly to places like Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta, LA, San Diego, Las Vegas. So you will get to travel a lot. So... That's a positive or a negative, depending on how you look at it. One of the biggest negatives there is, is dating and relationships become a nightmare. I mean, truly a nightmare. There are times when uh, I was recently on the dating apps where I wish I could have lied about my profession, and just said I'm like a botanist or something like that. But that goes against my moral compass. And I just, I'm more the type, you know, when I meet someone of just let's unload the dog shit and, you know, see if you run away as opposed to, you know, sweet talking to you and telling you everything you want. But it does seriously complicate dating. Um, I would say 50% of the people that you talk to, as soon as they hear that, um, you know, since we know most people swipe just based on pictures and don't even read the damn profile, but when they do learn that you are a porn star, that's going to eliminate 50% of your matches right off the bat. Then of the remaining matches, half of them are just going to view you like an amusement park ride. Oh, I've never been with a porn star. I wonder what that's like. Yeah, we'll get a little more into that one later, but... That's never fun. And then the people who, you know, are willing to accept your job because, you know, they need to accept that you're going to be having sex with other people on a very regular basis. Something else that a lot of people don't consider is STDs are going to happen, period, end of story. No matter how safe you are, no matter how often you are tested, you will, me personally, Mine's lower than average from other performers that I've talked to, but I catch about three things a year on average, no matter how safe I am. I mean, granted, prep prevents HIV, um, so anything I you know would catch, you know, obviously is treated within a week. And you know, if I knew I had something before I had sex with my partner, I would obviously tell them. But there always is that risk that I could catch something and then transmit it to them. And then it's like, great. So let me get this straight. I just contracted something because of your job. And, you know, a lot of people have a lot of shame and whatnot and don't really want to go into their doctor's office and have that conversation. So, I mean, that's definitely a pretty substantial drawback to consider. And that will eliminate a lot of matches and, I would advise being upfront about that because I advise just being upfront about everything. <sighs> Another thing that can happen, and I've heard this happen to plenty of other performers where they will meet someone, the person will say that, okay, that's cool, I get it. Um, and then later down the line, whether that's a month, three months, six months, even a year, all of a sudden they'll be like, yeah, I've just decided I can't handle this. And that's completely normal, and unfortunately, it's part of just being in this industry. So, dating and relationships, it it's probably the biggest strike humanly possible that you could have against you when it comes to those things. A positive, a huge, massive positive, is you are self-employed. You are in control. So, you have control over your own schedule you have you can control you know when you set dates what times you shoot etc the later you are in your career the more control you have at the beginning when you're first you know starting out not so much because you pretty much take what's available um and it, just the more popular you become 
the more control you have. And there are massive tax write-offs. That's also a huge plus because a whole bunch of stuff that you couldn't write off before, now all of a sudden you can write off. Uh, the main thing is just, you know, if you want to take a vacation, you can take a vacation. If you want to take the day off and spend time with your son or a friend, you can. You don't have a boss to answer to. You're, you are your own boss. And that really is priceless. Like, yes, you do have to travel or not so much. But for the vast majority of the time, you're working from home. And I consider that a major plus. This next one, I cannot speak for everyone in the industry. This is going to, you're going to get varying answers on this, but it can decrease your interest in sex. The reason why it can decrease your interest in sex is because you start to equate sex with money. It's like, okay, I'm having sex, therefore I'm making money. Either a studio is paying me or my fan base is paying me. And once you... It would basically be like, you know, you, oh God, I don't know. Actually, I can't even think of a good analogy, but I can say that I know a lot of performers that it has dramatically decreased their interest in sex. Um, also, uh, recession proof. Typically, what do they say is recession proof? Sex, drugs, and alcohol those tend to be the three things that are recession proof if you know in a recession you will notice a slight decrease but for the most part sex is recession proof also this really doesn't matter to me but you do gain a lot of attention on social media you know in person popularity etc i mean i i don't know me personally, I've just always viewed myself as a normal guy, but it's not uncommon for me to get recognized, not just here where I live, but like all over the place. Like this last summer, I went to Mexico and two separate times I got a message on Twitter from a fan. Oh, hey, I just saw you at this beach or, you know, oh, I just saw you here. I just, I'm like, what the, really? I mean, I guess I kind of stand out a little bit, but. You know, or it's not uncommon for people to come up to me at the grocery store or at the gym or, you know, if, if popularity and that kind of stuff floats your boat, then I guess that could be a positive. I mean, me personally, I was just always indifferent to it because I don't really have an ego. I just, I think I'm a normal guy. Um, big, big, big negative. Probably I would argue the single biggest negative other than relationships. And a lot of people do not think this one through. It can seriously hinder and affect future jobs. The internet is forever. Once it's up on the internet, it's not going anywhere. So having porn in your past will severely limit any future jobs you can get. And a lot of jobs now have, uh, social media clauses in the contract about, you know, appropriate behavior and, you know, you're uh, representing the company now and this and that. So if you're going to go into porn, just know you are severely, severely handicapping yourself. And it's easy to think when you're young, oh yeah, I'm going to live forever, blah, blah, blah. Just think back you in your life right now. I'm sure there are plenty of things that you've done that you wouldn't have thought you would ever do five years ago or 10 years ago. So apply that same thing to the future. You never know where you're going to be. You never know what opportunities you're going to get. I mean, I mentioned this in a previous video, never mind the politics and everything, but like, I believe AOC was a bartender. Do you think she ever thought she would be a congresswoman? I'm guessing not. So, you know, you never know where you're going to end up. I mean, Denzel Washington, he he flunked out of college, you know, with a 1.7 GPA, if I remember correctly. And, you know, he had no idea that he was going to become one of the most famous actors of all time. So you never know where you're going to be. And you really need to give it some serious thought because it can cripple your future options. Also, another massive thing 
is it can get very emotionally taxing because people view you like an object. For example, it I am I would never do this, but I am convinced that if I were to post a nude picture of me on Twitter and add the caption, I hate you all, I hope you all burn in hell, and just all kinds of negative things, it would still get thousands of likes. Why? Because nobody even bothers reading it because they're only interested in that. They're not interested in anything that I have to say. And this is part of the reason why I love doing YouTube because then all of a sudden I get to be viewed as a person and not an object. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video and allowing me to actually be a person. But if you are playing that role all day long, your social media inbox, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, everything is going to be blown up 24 hours a day. I probably get a thousand messages a day with very explicit messages, pictures, and these people have no boundaries, no limits, no respect, and it, it gets really old really fast. So just keep in mind that will wear on you, and if you do decide to do porn, you need to have some kind of outlet. Like for me, it's YouTube. So again, thank you for watching this and know that your comments mean the absolute world to me. They are actually the highlight of my day is reading you all's comments. Um, and then last but not least, a positive, you know, I guess this is, you know, subjective and everybody depends, but for a lot of people, they get to have sex with attractive people. That is if, you know, it matches up with your sexuality and all that. But if it does, a lot of people view it as an opportunity to have sex with people that they otherwise would not have been able to. So, you know, this is just the brutal, honest truth for me. You know, let me know. <laughs> is this something you could, you know, even if you yourself aren't going to consider being a porn star, is this something that you know, you could see yourself doing like in, you know, hypothetical land. So let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're interested, you can find me on social media on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, Just for Fans, and TikTok, just at Masculine Jason. One word. Hope you guys have an amazing week. I love you all.